Hey, hey, my friends. I am back for day 35 out of 100. Surely I'm going to run out of topics at some point, but right now I've got one for you. Um, so, are you going to be wearing some off the shoulder, cold shoulder, um, strapless top for Valentine's or Mardi Gras? Do you just need a little glow? Are you going on a wintertime cruise where it's going to feel like summertime? And so you're going to be wearing bare skin showing outfits? Well, here's your tip. Get you a moisturizing bronzing lotion. If you're like me and you've never, if you, you do not want to do the tanning bed and for obvious reasons and you have never had a spray tan and you don't really want to do that um, from the Aldi's parking lot. <laughs> Hello! Um, then I would suggest you get you a moisturizing bronzing lotion. So this one right here is called Rose Gold and it's gonna just lightly lightly. Now you can get them in darker shades. You can get them where they're true bronzing like deep dark savage tan um but this is not this one's just rose gold so it's just going to give a little hint really this is going to give more of a shimmer than color but you could layer it and build it up and then because it's a bronzing lotion it's not a self tanner it doesn't have the odor like a self tanner but it's not going to have the staying power of a self tanner either this is for you know, like I think it says up to 12 hours. Um, and if you get wet, like soaked wet, it's coming off. Um, but what you can do, I've heard, is um, if you want to give it some more staying power, if you're afraid you're going to get a little bit of mist or moisture, then um, you can spray it with a setting spray once you're done, and that'll kind of lock it in too. And that'll help with the um, combat any moisture that you might encounter. Now, if you're going to swim or something, um, I don't think so. All right, so I've been shaking it up. I've not had this open in a very long time, so I'm just going to go for it. So, obviously, you want to have um, exfoliated skin, and to already have some moisture would be good, um, but this is a moisturizing bronzing lotion so let me just show you so that's what the rose gold looks like but like I said there's you know you can get any number of brands any number of shades um, to try it out okay so I'm gonna have to swipe the comments so that I can see my shoulder um, here we go that may have been way too much Obviously, I have not used it in a while. Um, I may have to wipe some off because I got so much like I was going to do my whole body when I'm really just doing my shoulder. Um, of course, I could also pull this one off and come right on around because you would want to. Um, and you could come right up your neck. Get underneath the hairline. Now I'm not gonna do that other shoulder because I wanna be able to show you the difference. I'm trying not to get it on this top, but it really doesn't matter. So that would be one layer. I'll go ahead and put it on my hand as well. My hands that desperately need moisturizer. Um, so it gives you a little shimmer. That's part of the rose gold. So do you see that? You see the shimmer there? Okay, I didn't get it all spread out. Oh, no, that's a scar. <laughs> that's a scar that I need to be working on with my um, due confidence. I always think about this shoulder because it's most recently had surgery. All right, so there's that shoulder just you know, just the shoulder. And then that's the shoulder that's got just a little bit of shimmer to it. And if you got the gold or the bronze, then, um, or some other color and some other brand, then that has more color to it, then, you know, that would 
be beautiful and darker. And depending on your skin tone, you may want to choose darker. Um, so there it is on my hand. And I have even mixed it into my makeup before. And it just adds just a little bit of shimmer to your makeup and um, kind of diffuses the lines and wrinkles just a little bit. So, you know, there's something to be said for using it on your face. I'm not going to do that right now, but, but I could. But actually, I would prefer to mix it with my makeup and apply it along with it so that it's very even. So, all right, I'm going to... I don't know that that's dry, but I'm going to put just a, I'm going to try to put just a little bit in a concentrated area so we can see how you can build it. Just right there. I have all these battle scars from surgery. But, it, you know, it just gives that little bit of shimmer and glow. And I smell absolutely nothing. I know when I first got my hands on this um, was last spring at our spring launch and I was doing a live video when I picked it up and I smelled of it because that's the first thing I do with almost anything because I don't, I want to know if it's going to smell, if it's going to have a strong odor and I was like, I don't smell anything. I don't smell anything. Now, right now I've got a cold, so I'm not going to smell much of anything. All right, can you see the difference? I probably should have turned the phone the other way, but see there's no shimmer there, but there's shimmer there. How cool is that? And I could just keep layering and layering. So there you have it. That's my tip for the day. If you're gonna have bare shoulders or um, the um, cold shoulders or peekaboo shoulders, sleeves, whatever you call it, um, you may want to consider a bronzing, moisturizing lotion just to give yourself a little bit of color and a little bit of shimmer. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow with day 36 with some kind of a tip. I have no idea what yet. Bye. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.